Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Don Labonte. Um, here you will find a very simple format on how to ask the price of items. How much do you have to pay for something? Basically I've put down here the three most common ways of asking for the price. There are a couple other variations, but for simplicity's sake I think these are the most common. The question form is on the, the left, and the answer is on the right. Uh, either they ask a very simple question regarding the money, or in this situation they add a verb of, at the end, or the third situation here they just add the noun. So how much does it cost? It costs five dollars. Here you will see a little variation. How much and what are interchangeable as you see in the pattern. It's, you'll see it that in this pattern and you'll see it in the pattern uh, below here, the, number, the third set of patterns. How much and what can be interchanged without any change of meaning. If they do add a verb, you have to use this uh, second um, pattern here. How much does it cost to uh, buy a Coke? What does it cost to buy a Coke? It's exactly the same. I suggest if you, um, when you ask students questions with this pattern, that they complete with the full pattern. Um, if you ask how much does it cost to go to the movies, it's best if they can answer it costs ten dollars to go to the movies. If they just answer this simple way here, they'll get a bad habit of not completing the pattern. Once again, if they do use a noun, how much does it cost for um, a Coke? It costs one dollar for a Coke. It's they develop good habits if they complete the full sentence. Obviously, the native speaker, if you say how much does it cost to go there, they may even just simply say ten dollars. But they do that out of a strength. The beginning student needs to, in my estimation, uh, use the whole pattern. It helps to develop good habits of conversation. So once again, if they, we ask them how much does it cost for uh, the sandwich, the answer is it costs five dollars for the sandwich. Um, the next variation here is how much is it to is very very simple. With the verb, how much is it to take the bus? It is uh, ten dollars to take the bus. Once try to, once again try to make the student complete the full sentence rather than a simple ten dollar answer. Uh, in the bottom section we have the variation how much do they charge instead of how much once again you can use what uh, the reason I think this came into being is uh, because uh, once we began to use credit cards a great deal we charge things so in how much does it cost uh, migrated also over into how much do they do you charge how much with the verb how much do you charge to wash my car how much do you charge for a Coke. I, we charge five dollars for a Coke. So these basic formats help them to ask questions. It gives them the answers. And for students who are beginning the um, journey of learning conversation skills, I would have them use the full answer when asked. Once again, if if the uh, if the student is asked how much does it cost to go there. The answer, it costs five dollars to go there. If the question is asked, how much do you charge for the pen? We charge ten dollars for the pen. How much is it to buy that book? It's ten dollars to buy that book. It helps them to develop very good habits. Also, um, with a, a noun, you see the the. Uh, choice of using the noun here. Um, usually the or a uh, are used before regular nouns. A uh is very spe specific, a uh is very similar, but if you want to be very specific, it's the and a noun. Thank you very much.